everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video and welcome to the Brown Lee Centre in Leeds. I'm at the Boddington Circuit today. Another race day video and the first time I've raced here. For anybody joining me for the first time, my name's Chris and welcome to my midlife crisis, which appears to be in full flow. So far, I've only raced at Croft Circuit. This is my first attempt at what I would call more of a crit race. It's just fairly tight track, only about a mile in length and it's also got a hill in it, so a completely different sort of track to the one I've been used to. I'm not going to lie to you, I am very nervous and I've been absolutely bricking it ahead of this race. The others have been morning races and whilst this one's an afternoon I thought that would be easier, more time to prepare, but if anything I've just been sat around getting more and more nervous as the day's gone on, that tension's been building and yeah by the time I've actually got here I am a bit of a nervous wreck. If you watched the other videos so far you will have seen that I I've been struggling in the Cat 4 only race, so me being not necessarily the sharpest tool in the shed has decided to enter the Cat 3 4 race, which will be even tougher. So I'm under no illusions that there's going to be any amazing results today. It's going to be damage limitation. I'm not a negative person by any stretch of the imagination. I'm very positive, but being realistic, I am going to get dropped today. So it's just at what point I get dropped, what I get out of it, and whether I enjoy it and just enjoy the experience. As I say, it's my first time at the track, so I'll put some details up and put an overlay just showing the layout of the course, just to give you an idea. As I said, there is quite a hill in this one, actually, which is quite unusual. I guess it adds a little bit to the course and the track, so that should be fun at my weight, but we'll give it a go. So I'll put all the figures at the end, just so you can see average speed, power and whatnot, just to get a feel for the race. I actually got here nice and early today, so I've just been for a bit of a wander around. I'm gonna go get the bike ready in a minute and do a little bit of warm up. Unfortunately, you can't get on the track to just before the race because they've got a packed schedule. They've got some junior races right up to the three, four, and then the cat one, two, three as well. So it's a busy day. It's a shame you can't get out there and do a few laps, especially if it's been my first time here. But I'm gonna go get the bike ready, get everything set up, and then I'll catch you for some race footage. So here we go, let's get stuck into some footage. As you can see, I am starting from the back of the group. I had a few last minute adjustments to make to my camera, so I did start there. No harm done though, it was a neutralized first lap, so it didn't really matter. As we pass the start finish line, we're straight into this hill, which I mentioned earlier. It's only around three or 4% and fairly short, but trust me, when you're doing it repeatedly every lap, it soon takes its toll. A lot of the riders as well, the stronger riders should I say, did make a play for this each lap, putting in big efforts to try and get away and press the group. I'll just let the camera roll through this first lap just so you can get an idea of the course. So after that initial uphill section, we've got a left hand bend and then we're down into a hairpin. Then we sweep back round and then we're entering into the downhill section when things get a lot quicker. Things get uh, fairly spread out even on this first lap. Um, and this is where quite a few attacks go later as well. As I said before, we didn't really get a chance to go out on the course and do a few laps before literally got to go around once properly and even that wasn't at much of a speed so I'm learning in these early stages and if anything it took me about 10 laps really to get a feel for it because obviously you go around on your own or with a couple of you or in a group things feel completely different so it was only by sort of the later stages in the race I really felt like I was getting used to the corners so hopefully next time I'm out there I'll have a lot better feel for it and uh, do a lot better. Even on this neutralized first lap, I still average about 270 watts and we average about 25 miles an hour. So that's going to give you an idea straight away of what sort of power I'm going to have to put out to keep up with this bunch when the race is in full flow. So there we go around these last couple of bottom bends and then we're into the home straight again. So as expected, there's a bit of a surge and then people start to power up this hill.
Again, to give you an idea on figures for this proper first full lap, we averaged just over 27 miles an hour and my power came in at almost 380 watts. So with an FTP shy of 320, obviously this is completely unsustainable for me. But whilst I know my drafting could be better, I was out of position a couple of times. Uh, still, while learning the track, it was about as good as I could do on the day. So figures wise are way off what I'm able to put out for the duration of a race. So, um, so yeah, tough going really. And even at these early stages, it really is hard work just trying to keep up. So there we go, quite a big effort already up the hill and round the hairpin just to stay in touch. Heart rate already up, touching around the 180 mark. So already I'm knowing this is going to be a difficult afternoon and the race has only just started. It became quite stretched out through the downhill section managed to take these bottom bends a lot better than last time and actually make up a few wheels and get back onto the back of the pack. So after a few seconds breather we're back into the home straight and then you guessed it we've got the big hill again so I managed to get a decent draft up there this time this next lap we were just about 27 miles an hour again I put out slightly less watts about 350 360 so I think my positioning was a bit better and already I'm starting to get a bit more used to the corners uh, conserving energy and keeping up speed through the bends so all good signs I guess managed to hold my position a lot better through the downhill section this time I'm actually in the bunch there not having to play catch up and coming around those bottom bends I feel quite comfortable with where I am unfortunately I take this next bend poorly as you can see going off the front there there's even more attacks so whilst it's been fast paced up this hill and across the line the last couple of times this time it's even worse so I'm caught napping here and as you can see I'm just getting blown off the back and just don't have the legs to catch back on. I certainly wasn't the only one struggling and as we come round the next lap and see the main group go past the other way there's bodies all over the place. I do catch up with this lad from Manila and rotate a few turns with him so it was nice to have some company after a lap or so all by myself. Sadly he started to struggle not long after so I left him behind and caught up with the next rider in front. Shortly after I got lapped for the first time as the main group went past, look at the difference in pace as they come up this hill and fly by, look like I'm stood still. Whilst I'd hoped to work with Pink Bike Boy to try and at least keep up a decent pace, it came quite clear pretty quickly that his idea of working together was going to be sitting on my wheel for the next half an hour, putting in absolutely no effort. This became old quite quick so I completely knocked off the power so we had to come through to the front for a change. He then seemed more concerned about looking around to see where I was rather than actually putting any effort or actually trying to race. It 
It wasn't long before I was getting lapped again for the second and thankfully last time. I didn't actually notice at the time while the race was going on, but my new best friend actually tagged on the back of the peloton group, which obviously you're not allowed to do, but there you go. As I hadn't seen him go by, this left me completely baffled when I actually came up behind Pink Bike Boy again. I was thinking, how the hell is he in front of me again? But there we go. And surprise, surprise, guess what he does? Sits on my wheel again. My patience finally ran out later on in that same lap. I dropped him off just before the hairpin. I really didn't want to ease off. I wanted to get the most out of this experience and this training session as possible. So I stuck my head down for the next couple of laps, really pushed on and tried to squeeze out as much power as possible. Even as I come into these late stages, there's still quite a few riders behind me trying to catch up, including a group of about four or five working together. So I'm just pushing all the way to the end. And even as I come into this home straight for the last time, there's a rider not far behind me trying to catch up, so I even have to push right through to the line. And there we go, another race done and another fantastic experience. Really, really enjoyed that. Obviously hard going, a lot of it on my own and really tough. Fairly pathetic average speed, but as I say, with most of it solo, I was really happy with my average watts and normalised power. I'll be back at the same track in a couple of weeks, so hopefully I've learnt a lot there and I can do a lot better next time. Also looking forward to the Cat 4 only races a little bit later in the year, which will probably be more on my level. So uh, yeah, really enjoying the racing and looking forward to getting back out there. Well done to everyone from the Moon Glue race team who took part, some great results once again. Thanks as always to everyone for their support. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help build the channel up and I really, really appreciate it. So until next time, cycle safe and I will catch you all soon.